are these dihedral angles? The angle between two intersecting planes. Each plane is defined by three atoms, okay? Which have two atoms in common, also known as torsional angle, represented by this symbol out here. Right? Please check. The symbol is clear. It's a phi. This is how we represent it. Please see the angle between two intersecting plane. Best is to see it in 3D. Check this out. The plane is made by three atoms. You can see hydrogen, carbon and carbon. So the first carbon, take one hydrogen, carbon and this molecular axis, the sigma bond that we are so much concerned about. So H, C and C, that plane we have taken and for the other carbon again H, C and C with the second plane we have taken and we are seeing the angle that these two intersecting planes are making is going to be called as dihedral angle. All right. So on the basis of this dihedral angle, we can have three very important kinds of conformers that is going to be utilized by me now. Eclipsed, the name itself is clear that the way you hear it in geography, right? Solar eclipse, lunar eclipse, what happens? That one object is completely hiding the other one. So there is an eclipse. The other is staggered and third is skew. So eclipse and staggered are the two extreme ones and whatever is not uh, eclipse and staggered comes under skew category. So this is sorted. Let's do them one by one. Let's start with eclipsed. What is an eclipsed confirmation? A confirmation where atoms, substituents attached to two carbon are as close together as possible. Right? What you know in geography, the meaning of eclipse. If there is one, there is another object. If the, if the first one is completely hiding the other, the, we say it's an eclipse. So, here also we have eclipsed confirmation. What is it? A confirmation where atoms, substituent, attached to two carbons are as close together as possible. Okay? So, substituent needs to be there. Of course, when I'm talking about the two carbons, we can see it with respect to hydrogens also. Huh? So, please see. This hydrogen is just behind this. This hydrogen is just behind this. This hydrogen is just behind it. So we can say atoms bonded to carbons at each end of the carbon-carbon bond are directly opposed to one another. Are directly, you know, just behind one another. It's like an eclipse that is happening. Right? Check this out. Eclipse saw horse. Just behind this hydrogen, we have this hydrogen. Just behind this hydrogen, we have this hydrogen. Just behind this hydrogen, we have this hydrogen. Ideally, when we see it head on, we should not be able to see the back three hydrogens because it is just behind the first one. But we write it like this in the Newman projection. So, horse, we can easily see because we are seeing it along the molecular axis. But here, we are seeing it head on. So, with respect to the first carbon, this is how we make the second carbon. And just behind the first hydrogen, very close, we make the, the hydrogen of the back carbon. Right? So, is here and so is here. So, dihedral angle, when we say we have eclipsed conformer, dihedral angle is equal to zero degree. That means that the two, the, the, the side things are just behind one another. Okay, so now let's see the staggered, just the opposite of eclipsed, staggered. What happens in staggered? A confirmation where atoms substituents. We can have hydrogen atoms or we can have any other substituent. Attached to two carbons are as far as possible. They're as far away from each other as possible. For example, check the hydrogens out here. Look at this hydrogen and look at this hydrogen just as far away as possible. 
you can't have any other extremity here these are the farthest possible possibility for these two atoms right in the saw horse projection i am sure it is easily visible because we are seeing it along the molecular axis check now around the newman projection this is the carbon 1 this is the carbon 2 right in the uh, in the eclipse we were writing just behind the first hydrogen the other hydrogen if we were making it for ethane but if we make the staggered conformer for ethane check this out the dihedral angle out here is 60 degree for ethane right is it clear everybody so how dihedral angle is helping us in understanding the different conformers the angle is this 60 degree dihedral angle so now let's see what are skew conformers any other intermediate conformer other than staggered and eclipsed is called skew conformer i just told you this what is not staggered and what is not eclipsed will come under skew category and under skew also we will study few many more right so let's now understand skew conformer check this out here dihedral angle if we if i'm specific about ethane because we are talking about ethane since a long time now so understanding it again from the example of ethane when the dihedral angle was equal to 0 degree we know we were talking about eclipsed when the dihedral angle was equal to 60 degree we know we were talking about staggered right and if there is the dihedral angle anything in between anything infinite possibilities then we are going to call them skew conformers 